Okay, so we're back with more Subnautica. I made a huge mistake. Uh, I really, my, my past self really screwed my present self over very badly. I ended up taking a two week break from the game because uh, I was out of town. And now I'm in this horrible cave with some shadow black Leviathan things right above me. I'm not very pleased about it. Uh, I do not want to leave until I feel like I have completely explored this area. So I'm going to pop out. I'm going to try to top back off on water and everything and just really take my time because I think that this part down here is relatively safe. Probably going to take me a while to re-up on everything here. Don't need ribbon plants. We got a bunch of kyanite. Probably enough kyanite to last me, I hope. Need to see if there's anything else that's like significant or interesting down here. I wish you get as much scanning done as I can. That's a good idea. Not a fun time. Came right here. Didn't have any like instructions sending me here so I don't really have a beacon to lead me out of here I think this cavern is just this cavern I just want to do a lap around it and make sure there's not any kind of like secret exit or something that I'm missing I guess this map helps me to confirm that that's the case it's just a lifetime supply of kyanite okay Oh, I don't think I can eat those without cooking them first and get some water out of it. Very small amount of water. Yikes. I have some emergency rations in uh, the prawn suit, so I can bust those out, but I want to try to save those for if I really get stuck somewhere where I cannot find any source of healing. Yeah. Oh, I just meant that I, I like, didn't get, like, a an in-game notification about this zone, so I wasn't, like, going towards a specific... <gasps> oh, I can still see it. I don't like that. Wasn't going towards a specific objective at the time. Oh, they're much closer to me than I thought they were. It's not good. Ladder fish are not ideal for what I'm doing here, but might not really have a choice. Shit. There are some other better fish in the general area, but... Let me go refill on oxygen really quick. So you need to sit in this thing for longer, right? Try releasing these guys and cooking them. Oh shit, I didn't do that to drop them. There is a fish around here that heals like 10, but it's like worryingly close to the Leviathan. This one. I need to make sure that I've done everything there is to do here before I leave, or I'm going to be very, very, very sad. And that's not the one I was thinking of, actually. Okay. Um, breathe. I want to take the prawn suit, but I'm already at or close to the limit on the prawn suit's depth. 
Just accept that I might get eaten. Just roll with it. You have a save point. Crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important below. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Below, you say. Where where below? Can you give me a uh, a scan something? Because he said the crystals are confusing him, so no. Okay, well that was the thing I wanted to make sure I confirmed before leaving this place. That it's this thing up this way. Okay, let me go recover oxygen so I have as much as humanly possible for my trip. I'll look at my emergency supplies here in a second since it seemed to... I can tread water on my H2O situation, but I can't quite get ahead on it with the fish that are in this general area. Ooh, that is not a lot of emergency supplies. All right, I'll take that stuff out just in case. the save I already created. It's just the kyanite thing. Okay, not what I want. Somewhere else nearby that goes deeper. I got turned around, or I was looking at the Kyanite cave before. Yeah, it might be through here. I'm gonna get eaten so bad. <sighs> no me gusta, no me gusta, no me gusta, no me gusta, no me gusta. I really don't like this. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. I don't like this. I'm not happy. <laughs> Past Mars that is such a fucking dick. Chill for a second. Hopefully this is all that is down here. It's just this and the kyanite. I guess I can't be sure of that. I'm really worried about getting the prawn suit out of here because, like, it's great at falling. It's not very good at ascending. Little drones. To constituent parts. Heart is a complex centerpiece. Cool. But the insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the body to the possibility of disease. Your feedback has been dented. 
Uh, if there was anything else in this cave, feel free to go ahead and just tell me, because... I'm missing anything. I'm on a bit of a clock right now. With fluids. I'm tempted to save here, but I'm worried I'm not going to make it back to my prawn in time. There's more down here I can't do yet. <gasps> oh, what a horrible thing to say. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for confirming at least. Oh man, I don't remember how I physically got in here. Thank you, map. I need to find where those fish I was... There's a fish that heals like 10 water. It's not, it's not these guys. These guys aren't even attackable, right? Have a water bottle on me in an emergency. Maybe these things? Triops. Five, okay, well, better than their number that I was encountering. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm dead. I'm gonna get eaten. Let me try really hard here. To just catch up if I can. Don't go too high. I wish this thing, like, at slightly longer range, just ever so barely slightly longer range. It's probably as good as I'm gonna get right now, to be honest. Only plus 25. Okay, well, let me just prepare for failure here. I did have Crystal Leviathan aren't working in that direction. I'm gonna probably gonna die at least once. No, that was a scannable one. I didn't bring that. I didn't bring one with me. Yeah. something that I intended to drop, actually.
Okay, I gotta be really careful with Satan. Like, I gotta be careful with saving the game here. I don't want to put myself in an unwinnable state when I load. Oh, this is maybe a good sign if there's creatures here. This is where I was hiding from them before. Fort Scary is ultimately where I need to go. Purple Uranium is next, I think. I think it can swim around here. Now I'm worried I'm gonna have to like, just leap of faith, start climbing up and out, which I'm not pleased about. here if I recall. here though. Be a good place to build a base. There being a whole bunch of vents here. Okay. And I think that there's still a goddamn uh prawn asshole up here. I'm gonna save now. Near Fort Scary. Really hate the prawn suit is awesome. God, that thing freaks me the fuck out. Um, I hate about the prawn suit that like you can't look straight up, which I'm guessing is by design. Makes going straight up really, really, really scary. Not a good sound. Just one of those easily spooked jerks. It's fine. I think the jellyfish is harmless, but it freaks me out just looking at it. It does not make me comfortable. So, like, I assume that all of the leviathans in both the base game and this one are just, like, a pretty straightforward... They just kind of like path on a little, they have a little patrol route. But the structure of the game makes it really hard to see that. Uh, so it's like perfect for horror. It's, it's the opposite of, you know, Resident Evil, where you can tell exactly where the pursuer's coming from. Two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. 
This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far... Hey, Kat, how you doing, man? ...require combined biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate... You missed the really, really scary stuff. That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was implemented. So, the scary thing is that way, so I'm just going to go back to my original base. Uh, maybe I'll go to Theta first. This is a good playthrough to watch. If you're interested in, like, the YouTube VODs. I'm definitely going to end up going over the how long to beat just because I've been paralyzed with terror and not wanting to get close to the leviathans. And it's made me spend a bunch of time. Oh, this, I'm, just, I'm just gathering resources. This is just something I have to do anyway. I'm not neglecting my responsibilities, no sir. I only just accidentally did something I needed to do because I had stumbled into a spooky area. I believe I spent so much time in one of the giant prawn areas at the beginning of the game. I had no idea I was in so much danger. Do do do. I'm just looking for the entrance to this iceberg. It's fine. Turns out there's like a million assholes there. I guess I didn't mark. The place that I'm saying I have to go back to, but I have other beacons in the general area that I can find my way back to. I'm gonna have to make more beacons here. make that thing where I can attach the prawn suit to the sea truck. It sounds really helpful. Okay. Significant reduction in stress level. I learned a very serious lesson about making sure I have plenty of emergency supplies. I did not have enough emergency supplies in my locker. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, beautiful. Look at all this kyanite. Oh, right, I can actually do stuff. I'm like, <laughs> coming back here just focused entirely on survival. Totally forgot that I actually, like, got a new resource. A couple new resources, actually. Just a, it was not just a terror mission. Jesus Christ, I hope that's enough. That doesn't seem like that much. Fuck. Thought I got so much more than that. Ooh, boy. Okay, so some of the things I had to craft were modules, if I recall correctly. Um... Let me storm most of this. So let me let me just kind of review the blueprint list for a second here.
I don't think I have anything yet that uses uranium. So I need the parallel processing unit, which I haven't found the stuff for. Okay. That's to hijack the radar dish. Headlamp. Could make a headlamp. But that replaces my rebreather, right? Which is why I didn't. Can you combine the two? It would be really nice. I could have both of those. Make more beacons here in a second. Aurium module, docking module. Can actually do the docking module and it's not that bad. I think we established that the sleeper module is kind of just cosmetic. That, okay. Prawn suit thermal reactor. Don't really care about that. I feel like once I have an ion battery, it doesn't really matter. Um, is that really the only thing I had that required kyanite? There's no way. I thought I had something else that was more exciting. So the, oh, sea truck depth upgrade mark three. Prawn suit. That's the one. Nickel ore. Fuck. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen nickel ore. Okay, well, on the way to getting it. That would make going back there less scary if I can take the bronze suit down with me. Um, I think that's the main kyanite thing is the depth upgrade. Okay. Everything else is junk. So let's bank and we got to go look for nickel. Oh, it doesn't replace the rebreather? Oh, but it can replace the compass. It might be a deal breaker. I guess I could replace the scanner room HUD chip and only use it when I'm actually scanning stuff, but... I didn't think I could craft those yet, can I? I guess I can, okay. Three plus one minimum, so I think I maybe got enough. Bears up. All right, I've got some batteries I wanna deal with here. What's the hell out of this? This. Oh, we don't need a big boy battery for that. This should be fine. I feel like the... If I'm going to make something have way more charge, it should probably be the repair gun. Yeah, it looks like it's a head slot thing from the crafting menu. That's why I didn't want to make it. Hey, thanks, Six Gun. Appreciate that. How have you been? Right. Head mounted light source. So. Food is less of an issue, water is a big issue. I want to have a lot of extra water in my emergency kit. I think I'm going to roll out of here and go try to find nickel, which I've never encountered, so it's probably in an area that is very scary. Yeah, I saw you made it to a uh, John Williams concert. That's crazy. The dude's like 97 years old, isn't he? Okay, it's 
really just emergency stuff. Should be better. Less scary. 91, okay. I want more beacons. Uh, beacons are... I always could lose track of deployables. Copper, ore, and titanium. They're pretty straightforward. Three should be enough to just have on me. Did I... Oh, was that gold? That's probably gold. Right, I think I compressed a lot of my copper into copper wires. I should just be able to break them back down. Fine. I have more artifact stuff to scope out too. I'm fine with having that many beacons. I mean, it reduces the amount of stuff I can loot, but it really sucks being stranded without any. And I think I'm going to bring a couple of these because I know they go bad, but it can be my first thing that I eat when I'm on an extended journey. All right. Um, deposit this ruby, and then we're going to go look for nickel. What battery is in this thing? Because it should be the ion battery. Be nice. So we've got scary iceberg my sea truck is back there it's probably worth picking up my sea truck again at some point um i think i already did i don't know that i actually did the architect body cache i think i had it marked a couple times and kept getting distracted when i was trying to go there n6m i still have marked as unexplored that's near fort scary okay well We'll go that way. I probably should put together the materials to build a third base and scanner, but it like takes up my whole inventory to do it. Me going this way was what ended up sending me down into those purple caves. Got magnetite for days. Just confirming, in case I'm crazy or something, I, I do not, I have not yet encountered nickel, right? Like it's not just an ore that I trivially harvested and forgot about. Okay, thanks. You know, this area can be a little scary. Okay, that's why it's scary. That fucking guy. Thank you, Scanner. The fucking guy just been in this area the whole goddamn time, like near this crash ship and everything. 
Oh no, he's close. Like the game intentionally put all of the really interesting stuff right next to an asshole. He's like right around that ridge, isn't he? Watch there be a second one that's like right outside my scan range. I'm not prepared for it. Oh, I need to be in scan range too. That's not good. Don't like that. Uh, it's like right above me, isn't it? Fuck. God. <laughs> Back by this spooky boy. right there fuck I just have to do it oh he's coming right for me isn't he nope don't like that thing is way too fast I think it's a little scarier than the Reapers like the Reapers were really scary but their faces were more obviously monstrous that thing is just like it's a little prawn a little, little giant fucking prawn okay fuck it I'm just going down let's just go know if that guy can reach me if I'm wish my scanner was just a little bit further in this direction oh he can totally reach me down here okay. wishful thinking now this is better this is more of a little ravine that he maybe can't squeeze into okay this thing I'm looking for is like directly below me Still completely fine on depth, it seems like. There's probably another one over here. Is it like straight below this scary ass thing? Be. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us. Cool. It's not, is, it a, is it a multiple of artifact to give me a new recipe? Doesn't look like it. 
All right, let me make sure I mark this one complete. Second. Uh, explored near Ron Jerk. What do you mean? That's all that's down here. Diamond. I'm trying to see if there's any like resources. This isn't an area I haven't explored. But this is an area that I haven't really explored, I should say. I don't think I have any recipes that use uranium. scan let me go ahead and remove the ones that I know I'm done with here and 6m is done I never took the body cache off I don't even remember if I've been to the body cache I feel like I had that as an objective for a while and I did do it but apparently I didn't mark it off sanctuary Scroll through blueprints real quick. Oh, uh, tissues, organs. I don't have the skeleton. Just realize this thing is not at max repair. Let me fix that really quick. Unless if I haven't been to the body cache, I think that's my last breadcrumb at the moment, so I might just need to walk around. Sure, yeah. scan this thing. I'm super curious. It still freaks me out, though. Vent Garden. They make the scans on Leviathans take forever. Stationary Leviathan anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic flora inside its bell-shaped interior. Six branching platforms that resemble coral contain flora that remain safe from foraging herbivorous fish. Cool. Like that stuff. Good. Okay, so there's a bunch of regular boys in this area. I go in a direction that has no markers, and hopefully it doesn't yell at me for going off the map. Or 
hurts. Fuck. I'm excited. This has map edge energy to me. Don't like it. Not like it. Likely that I haven't been. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Scarf. I remember looking for it before. So I could go there and then mark a ton. Um, this is probably a bit of a spoiler, but just for my own sanity, uh, I guess a series of questions. One, is there still a map edge that's enforced by Leviathan spawns? That's a whale. Uh, two, is there a warning when you're approaching that edge well before you're already in trouble? Okay. Oh, it's a little baby whale. Okay, that's so bad. Water being green here makes me uncomfortable. Oh, aquarium module. I'm worried that like the PDA is not going to start warning me until I've already fallen off the edge, right? That's what I'm worried about is that the warning can tell me, oh, I'm near the math edge. Don't go over this edge here because it's the edge. Okay, so the same that's the same thing from the first game. See enough rock and materials and stuff. Limestone, chance of copper. A lot of silver over here, that's kind of cool. Okay, thank you. I don't actually remember what the timing on it was in Subnautica 1. I remember getting it and realizing that, oh, this must be the map edge and turning around. That looks like it. The fact that I have no scannables in that direction. Titanium deposits everywhere. Take more copper, actually. Yeah. 
That's another aquarium module. Floating islands are spooky looking too. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. All right, let me mark that right now. Don't make those noises, please. Talking about that boy. Several of them in this area. I like a thing up there. Talking about another more different anomalous rock. Seems like the biggest one. Let's see if there's like a cave around the sides of it or something. It might also be revealing that it rose up, so like perhaps there's something underneath it. Growing gel sacks. I don't have to worry too much about that. It'll tell me if something's drillable, right? Or like when I look at it with the prawn suit, it'll say it's a thing. This is what they're talking about. Yeah, I was having the ascend thing too. And uh, that gator game just kind of structured like. Detecting bow of an astronautical song transcope vessel nearby. Vessel oh shit. Name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Mercury 2. Come on. God. It's a big old boat. I really like how the main way you explore spaceships is Underwater wrecks, it's cool. I guess the Aurora, you get to do a lot of it above the water, but it's like flooded, right? that I thought those guys were friends cool 
and great and good. I thought those were just the like the, the little baby whales. It was incorrect. I gotta be careful scanning stuff that I know I already have. I'm not gonna have the space for all of it. Mercury two. Thor should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury two was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. Oh yeah. Any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam of Use physical the and thermal damage. Ryan's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. You are not invulnerable when wearing this suit. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell? I still got it. Oh, I don't have the PDA pause on anymore, do I? Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Makes it sounds like that's the same as the quarantine laser in the first game. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans. We were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely. Okay, so these guys came here around spawn. the same time as we Subnautica books. 1, is my read. Was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it i think the quarantine laser is such a fucking cool idea like this is such good sci-fi in addition to being great horror something they died screaming alone in the cold dark waters i i'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again i refuse some of the animals on this planet oh hell yeah sick too Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. Get to get out of here alive. Please. I just want a little circle. Oxygen's a bit of an issue. You need to be kind of underwhelmed by the amount of oxygen you get from those things. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, no kidding. Well, this is my nightmare. Um, you know how to get to it. Oh, I'm gonna die if he goes that. Wait. Oxygen. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, is that not an exit? Well... <laughs>
Now, do I get an option to load my save? This is the first time that's happened. You died and lost some belongings. Probably okay. I think I saved right before going in. I, it was right when I placed the beacon was this it's the anomalous rock so I gotta find the ship again but it was near the anomalous rock dropped right down this seems like that's progress following that wire but let's do let's find the ship first detecting bow of an astronautical salt trans go vessel nearby vessel name mercury 2 in all freaky shadows operative Mercury to ship. Let's see if I can fit the bronze suit in there. Ship's way bigger than I thought. I'll go back to my first beacon in a second. I bet that's going to lead me down to the body cache. sharks okay. just come restock more it's like I have enough oxygen right now that it's like problematic uh, okay um, laser cutter reactor rod Don't want any titanium here. Chinese potatoes. I'll probably grow those. Alien containment.
Didn't get this one last time. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Back to the prawn suit now. Complain when they have a few more soul transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. So dramatic. I think megalophobia really wins. Like, I don't know if this is the case, but I feel like if I was swimming through an area that was like infested with little sharks, it would still be scary, but it's not the kind of scary that leviathans are for me anyway. Glass, it is glass, okay. I think this is where I popped out when I was panicking, looking for air. Yeah. Okay, so this is another one of these. It's really exciting. Now I find these on ships now. I got one earlier. I must have been on an earlier ship before I knew what it was. One eighty three oxygen, I'm trying to keep an eye on it. Probably need to start making those now that I'm so far from spend so much time away from my base and don't just have infinite peppers. Um, all right, top plates. Oh man, I'm something confused me there. Whoops. My way back. I'm gonna be doing this. Oh, it's not an actual laserable one. Safely, despite my another one I didn't find last time. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and it paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to that advice? I'm actively trying to get out of here with plenty of oxygen uh, uh, and I didn't go to school go. for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower. But She's in charge, not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. I think she was getting on Diana's nerves, so she assigned Yasmin to me. The building is like created for me to drown in. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two, as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. Good point to save. Okay, I know there's at least two more PDAs I need to find. There might be more of those processing units. The 
ship like break in half? Jesus. I guess this thing like definitely draws your attention to it. dark out here. Oof. Don't like that. Yeah, I was just saying I'm probably going to build it now that I'm in this situation. I didn't need it before because I have a million peppers at the base. And it was trivial enough to just bring a bunch of those with me, but I feel like I'm gone long enough that they'd probably degrade by the time I would use them. It was one of those, I got the blueprint, and I was like, oh, well, that would have been nice a couple hours ago, but I guess now it's relevant. That's probably another one. If I can find a way in there, it looks like there's an access thing that goes in there. Ooh, free synthetic fibers. That's... And come here early. Get early. Very cruelly made it difficult to get in there. Nuclear reactor, fuck yeah. Oh, hell yes. So I don't know if that also gives me the relevant sub blueprints. I need to get out of here. Um, I'm going to drown again. Sorry for drowning again. It's really easy for me to get lost in here. I did make a more recent save, though. Comes with fuel rods. Scary shark. God, it sees me and I'm not in my suit. Okay, there's still those PDAs I have to find again, and there's a room with something I can cut that I want to track down. Let me see if I can. I really can't take the prawn suit with me here. I guess the sea truck would probably be helpful, but. I'm guessing even that wouldn't be great. The Pathfinder gun would be perfect in this place. Let me try to remember what I did the first time I came here, because I haven't been back there even once so far. to lead these missions. I think this is the one I heard before. Okay. This is perfectly fine horror on its own. The horror of being underwater and not being able to surface. That's why I can't believe people do cave spelunking like... Fuck that. stuff down here? Maybe. Opportunity to get super lost. Oh, I don't need the aquarium module. That's done. This would be cool if you found this cave and then surfaced in the ship. Your first exposure to this.
170. I think I need to start getting worried around 180. Okay, I found both of the PDAs from before, but there's definitely more to do down here. These things suck, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna get that though. It so that's uh that's a side grade, right? The thermal suit provides protection from cold and that does not. I don't trust myself to be able to retrace my steps there. It's just here. So come back to that thing where I started to die last time. I think I find, need to find another entrance in this area and bring the prawn suit over by it because I keep getting really overextended when I first find this place. another entrance around the back so I'm gonna try to head to that there's there's one room that I still want to explore I've seen it through a window there's definitely a uh... like a vent that goes in there hey dark star how you doing Maybe here. This is a less obvious entrance. I guess it's part of the problem. I wanted to balance it on this thing so I can see it when I'm swimming out. for a vent somewhere. I'm really glad I got the nuclear reactor. So like you make reactor rods with uranium, I think, right? And then it just lasts an extremely long time and doesn't it doesn't require any specific placement or anything. I think I remember building one in the Lost River in the first game. Let me turn on interactables real quick. Don't want it on near the base, but interactables doesn't show you scannables, though, right? Uh, lots of uranium rods. I 
that's the room I need to find a way into. Makes sense. Oh, this would be sick. Right near where I want to be exploring. Okay, hold on. Here is the prawn suit to tear. Oh, is this the pilot last known position marker? Maybe that's something connected to this. I guess I never... I thought I visited that forever ago, because there's like another ship in that general area. Get it on that sail. Thanks for letting me know about it. Looking for vent into this room. It's back there. It goes. Make out what direction it's going up, maybe? Tried looking in this room and did not find it. So, is the deal like these things are floating because these like, these are like little balloon things that grab hold of them? I'm gonna swim right next to that shark and fucking die here. That's really cool. It's like, what's up with the cool like floating island biome? I guess that's that's what it is up with them. I think they do a lot of really cool uh, design in that direction. They're like, okay, we want to have like floating islands. How do we justify it with reasonably grounded sci-fi? Oh, that's really far away, but fucking scary. I think that was just the harmless whale, not the scary shark. for a square vent somewhere. Three. Go ahead and scan this so it stops reminding me. Scanning fish is just kind of annoying. Oh, that's really helpful. Having the sealed door be in a highlight. Chinese potatoes. Grow bad if you didn't already have it. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans, and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. It seems like we're here for this set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture which means civilization and civilization means da -da -da -da, language oh man and now most of the crew wants to get home i i understand that but nuclear waste disposal discovery. i'm definitely going to put a bug in diana's ear about going to the surface so i can take a team to explore print synthesize oh, i desperately hope this pants okay out. i got a bunch i know how to get back oh, here though so communication range with soul again Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from them so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give them so much more. 
Right, this is where I died before because I thought that was an exit and it was not. Um, I think it's got to be through... Oh. Oh dear. Wait, we okay? Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Slowly but surely. I just need to grab some of those food nutrient blocks. I've been neglecting them here. Eat the Chinese potatoes. Inventory full. Fuck, that's not good. Or do they just take up a shitload of space or something? Depleted rods. They're rotten. I guess that makes sense. Well, there were other opportunities for food down here, and I'm not, like, dying, so it's probably fine. Okay, let's get on this here. So much laser usage down here. Yeah, but what I want them, though, like, I don't know, it seems like it's hard to compete with the fever peppers. Sick. That's good progress. Lots of good shit here. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. I think I'm done with this place now, finally, then. Just gotta get back the scary... past the scary prawn guy to my base. I really like the sound effect that the thermal knife makes. It's, like, really subtle. The sound design in this game is, like, top-notch. Okie doke. Lots of progress there. Great excursion. A plus. Didn't find any nickel. So I have no idea where nickel is. Don't have the foggiest idea where to look. I don't know if going this way is smart. It might be very stupid. I guess actually part of the reason I came here before I return. I still want to do the body cache. Let me put stuff in the storage. Since I've already gone past some annoying and scary things, I'd rather not have to come all the way back here. So there's two things I want to check out. There's where was it? Mercury two, the anomalous rock. I think I saw a cable that you could follow. It seemed like it like pulled a base out of the ground. a whale. So, I think the one they're talking about it's so fucking hard to see right now. That guy, right? And then I found a cable here. So let's try following it. I believe it 
research this area and find a component to Oh hell yeah. Okay. Thanks for letting me know that in fact I had not done this one. I tried to be good about dropping them from tracking and making a note in my text file once I go to them, but Abrupt color change is probably fine. This is a new biome. Okay, so there's diamonds here. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Is it like is it hot as hell down here, but not really. It's like zero C. Flowering spore. Brand cotton anemone. Cool. Oh, really? Benzene. Okay. Bunch of those. The particular format of big open cave area that I don't like. This is arguably big enough to house the Leviathan. Maybe not this one. This one might be safe. That was like a humanoid creature of some kind. Freak me out. Fill my inventory here, but young cotton and enemy. Use an advanced construction. Okay, so now I can plant my own of those. I don't think I have any recipes that use that yet, do I? If I plant, oh, this is really cool. The idea of the underwater cotton, it's very like evocative. Um, if I plant the, anem the anemones, do I also get the spores that come out of them or do those only go into the big ones in this area? This place is really cool. There's so many like great little biomes. Having it all be caked in white is just, it's really neat looking, I think. there was a thing in the first the subnautica range propulsion by spinning it's like a, it like hypnotizes you and i don't think it ever happened to me in my whole playthrough i found out about it afterward pretty cool it like fucks with your pda right I'm kind of sad I missed it. Or it makes you, ho you hallucinate your PDA saying things. I 
Egg. Egg. Okay, I think I managed to just never be near them outside of the vehicle. Really nice having the ion batteries for this thing. That'd be one of my favorite biomes. It's just it's a really cool idea to have these like cottony flakes everywhere. I need to find this entrance. Hopper still. Oh, here we go. It's open enough to be problematic. This game does a really good job of doing like like. I don't know, whimsy is the right word. I think that the, the scary parts are, they do such a good job because they're in such sharp contrast against the rest of the game. Oh shit. Hell yes. Is there more of it? At least I can know there's some here, nothing else. I should scan it. I don't know if I brought the material scanner with me here. Magnetite. Second. Nickel ore. Drop it. Where did it go? What the hell? Does it destroy it when you drop it? I wanted to scan it. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, my last save was. recently. I thought anytime you drop stuff, it just put it in the world. Do doors break that rule or something? Here somewhere. There's some. Repair tool, flare. I might have it in my my bank, unfortunately. Mineral detector. Okay, cool. Oops. Shit. Just like a very tiny amount of it down here. how much of that I need. I guess I can look in the menu. 
I think I needed it for both kyanite recipes. What the fuck? Making that sound. Oh god. They electrocute you? Fuck that. Temporarily disables you. If I were like just swimming down here, I think I would have shit myself there. Make sure I'm fully paired real quick. It's a scary thing for them to be able to do. That's for sure. I want to leave this place until I'm. I feel like I'm done with nickel. <laughs> Material detector like makes the, uh, the controller vibrate really aggressively in a way that. Freaks me out. Okay, I've got a decent amount of it. Probably like six between me and the prawn suit. You can definitely make the, the depth upgrade, which is the thing I'm most concerned about. This is pretty cool looking. It's an ornamental plant. Incredibly low cell metabolism. Trans differentiation. Oh, interesting. Stem cells. Oh, nice. Ten for hardness. This skeleton is fully bent, able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new home. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful, beautiful even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. It's cool. I think I'm done here. Understand all the components we need to make a storage uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able <laughs> to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. That's great. Okay. Um, time to get out of here. I'm gonna see if I can get lucky and score a little bit more nickel before I leave. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh god, what the fuck? Oh my god. Wow. Whoa! Had no idea that was there. Okay, let's get out of here.
think the shark is like especially mean because everything else about this area it just like screams oh it's this little peaceful whimsical cotton zone like pairing Alan is one of the game's uh, uber puzzles. Let me mark the body thing complete here. Body cache, some nickel nearby. Hopefully I have enough to do what I want to do here. There might be other recipes that require nickel that I haven't encountered. That is gold. I thought that was like a device. Scannable something or other. Come on. Link, you're standing on a flat enough surface to recover stamina. There you go. Still a bunch of scary shit in this general area. Well, that's not great. Could recover my sea truck, build the dock on it, and then come get my prawn suit back. But I'm kind of enjoying all prawn suit all the time, baby. Does the max? Uh... Oh shit! Does the max prawn suit depth upgrade match the sea truck depth upgrade, or is one deeper than the other? Oh yeah, this is that hole that you fall into. Directly above it is the prawn monster. Somewhat scary biome here. I really built that base that scans the thing in the worst possible spot. give you these little anti-leviathan things. I got that already. I need like a little camera on my roof. I hate not being able to look straight up. You are too close, sir. Nope, nope, don't like that.
didn't instantly die. What the hell's in there? I know I'm low on water. Oh, hello. Site found, but I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. That's nice. Holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. Good thing they didn't grab me. I wouldn't have seen that otherwise. Dang. Seek fluid and take. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Hoping to just make it back to base. I'll save really quick. funny thing that can happen where you like like land on a fish's head for a second but it still treats it as like a solid surface so you get some thrust energy back like Super Mario okay so I got a lot of maintenance to do here out of my head first you must find the fabrication facility it is oh you gotta be fucking kidding me fabrication facility so you planned on needing to make new bodies it is a standard medical facility <laughs> a medical facility where you just <laughs> replace your whole body when it wears out sounds a little beyond standard to me ours was a research mission of the highest importance so, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Sorry to keep interrupting him. Um, Where's the habitat builder? Okay. Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. So just to confirm, the area underneath the Shadow Leviathan zone is not the facility. Ooh, probably should have gotten more seeds, but whatever, it's fine. I didn't get any blueprints from any of that. Okay, thanks. I want to go all the way back there. Benzene. Ribbon plant. Do I have just regular ass ribbon plant? I do. Plenty of them. But I have to be careful because anything organic can't be recycled back, right? That's the only thing I needed for a bit. Reactor rod, uranium, lead, titanium, glass, gold, silver, table coral. Oh, that's like really cheap. 
cooked spinner fish, discus fish, knife suit. So we want depth module mark two, but it doesn't show up in that list because I can only make it at the facility across the way, I think. I wish I could filter this list more. Polyaniline, three diamonds, plasteel. So I've seen basically all of this stuff. Seems pretty doable alien containment is for growing eggs last steel advanced wiring lead kyanite nickel ore let me turn that highlight interactable thing off for a second Wish I could set the opacity on that. I'd, I'd like leave it at like 20% opacity or something and just have it on all the time. I have to take the existing module out. On the opposite side, I think. Wait, do I need another device to build it? Or is it the modification station? Okay, thanks. That's the only other thing I really gave a shit about. And I'll page through my blueprints here in a second. Eleven hundred meters. Okay, big sigh of relief. That is a that is a big difference. Okay. Got some battery management to do. When it takes those to grow. charge the ion battery. What goes into making an ion battery again? Gold, silver, lithium. I feel like I was short on one of those things. Lithium, possibly. Yeah. Check my scanner and see if there's any obvious ones here. Our searches have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feed. There could be a million reasons. Lithium from a specific right. outcrop, or is Why it just able to be update? picked up? They're on version 2001.4, and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I uh -huh. meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing... 
promising optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. Oh, being friends with a robot. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a. Let me uh, poem. stop the pausing while they're talking here. Sam Love. Hope is human. Hope is. Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Mm. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers. She knows the poem pretty well, doesn't remember her last name. Sings the tune without the words. And never stopped at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another. Like Dickinson, I assume. I don't recognize the poem. Okay, I can start working on... Let me work on making the pieces here. I don't know where to take them. I think they're making a... It was so long ago that I don't remember that part. Find and maintain hope. <laughs> that, that's a great little entry right there, big fan. Um, so, his body parts, so I just need to bring the ingredients with me, or can I build part of it here and then carry those things to the fabricator it's talking about? Root pustule gel sac. Okay. So I have to have space for all this stuff on me. Hmm. Polyaniline, I think I have the recipe for that, but I haven't made it. I don't know how to make hydrochloric acid, or do I? Ah, okay. Okay. That's... Just have to wait for these to grow, and then I'm going to replant them. Kind of just have to wait here. Unfortunately, I didn't have the inventory space to grab a ton of those. Go ahead and get this stuff set aside, though. Two root pustules, synthetic fibers, gel sac. Okay. Three diamonds, plasteel ingot. Ion cube, three kyanite, two ribbon plants. That one's done, that one's done. Three diamonds and a plasteel ingot. Oh, I thought I transferred it already. But I put two in there. Oh, okay, thank you. Good catch. I must have accidentally grabbed something next to it. Okay, and I think I have a solitary plasteel ingot lying around. Let me remind myself what goes into making that. I don't need a lot of them. Oh, lithium, fuck, okay. I apparently need to go on a mission and just 
find a shitload of lithium. Um, I think I still had one around here, though, somewhere. I just have to find it. One, but that's... This is enough to make the thing, but... I thought I was sitting on one. Okay, so that just leaves the uh, polyan polyaniline. And I have to find the location. Assume it's somewhere insanely annoying. All right, let me do a quick pass on blueprints here. Can I do this with the mouse and keep... Okay, yeah, because that way the, the tooltip isn't constantly displayed. Mass steel. Aerogel. Make a ton of that, but I don't really need it for anything. Uh, parallel processing. Gold, silver, table, coral. Just need one of those. I use up all of my table coral. I thought I guess I can I can get it back out of the computer chip uh, unless if it doesn't refund it. No, it does. Okay. Even though it's partially organic. Parallel processing and titanium and lead. Mainly just doesn't want you uncooking fish. I guess that makes sense. Delta Station Communications Tower. Okay. Let me unpin that. Anything else on here I've made? Right. Probably build the water filtration unit. Part of the reason I didn't build it before is it seems like it's kind of a pain in the ass. Hold on. Roped. I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, okay. Fine. They need to be against a wall or something unobstructed. Probably isn't allowed to go in a like a scanner room. Oh hey, job passed me. I was running out of space, I think. Got so many ion cubes, Jesus. Might just need to build another multi-purpose room. Does this need to have a hallway to connect, or can it just be adjacent to this thing and be fine? Oh, there we go. Makes the hallway for me. Not the most efficient spot for it, but whatever. It's fine. Welcome aboard, Captain.
probably transfer some of my lesser used junk in here later. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, did I like put some of the titanium away? Oh, right, I just used it to craft the thing. That's pretty neat. Okay, so it just takes a while. Now, now, does it just make a single water bottle when it charges? I guess that's good if I get one every time I come back to base, but I wanted to have like a ton of them for an excursion and have to build several. Like a, a hundred water or something. I was looking through this list. Um, let me check on the cotton. I'm trying to find stuff to do while I wait on the cotton. I wonder if it remembers its durability. I know someone mentioned this earlier, but very pleased to not have to think about this anymore. How many of these do I have? Save me a little bit of time. Probably enough. Okay. Hydrochloric acid. Need one more. Fuck. Okay. Well, I have to wait anyway. Um, I guess I can go do the override module while waiting for it to grow. Let me look through the rest of the list, though. I can make the reinforced dive suit, but I feel like the cold suit is more useful. Um, I wish the headlamp just was like a permanent upgrade. It didn't compete with a rebreather. Trap. trap. Docking module. I could build that. Need more lithium though for another plastic ingot. I have one, but I want to like make sure I hold on to it in case there's an important progression upgrade. The only other thing really is the nuclear reactor and the I guess I have rods for it. Like building a base for it underground somewhere. No, we confirmed it's a headpiece, right? Brutus looked it up. It's described as a headpiece and Brutus said that it's a headpiece. Yeah, I guess building a base near wherever I'm going to would be nice, but I have no idea where I'm going, so I assume the game's going to give me a progression clue at some point. Just deposit the rest of this junk. junk out of
Poor cute little spinnerfish. The ribbon plant back. Okay, I can probably just bring a ton of these with me, because if I need the space, I can just eat all of them. I was doing that before. I didn't actually need a lot of water. Okie doke. Delta Station. Fort Scary. really scary at nighttime in this game. land in a minute. Oh, shit. Little babies. Come on. Ah. Ooh. Gotten really used to the underwater behaviors for the prawn suit. I haven't been on the surface with it in a minute. Oh, come on. I was just up here. It's working fine. Just like pop out of this thing and climb up there, but don't remember if I explored this place thoroughly enough to say for certain that there are no like worms or anything awful here. It's not like a big open field.
to install it somewhere on here, presumably. Okay, I think I've seen this before. Connect the test override module. Great. Now back to the terminal. Enter test mode. Do it. Please work. Yes. Satellite is down. Sweet. I have an impressed. That was most resourceful. She gonna be my friend now. So her base is near the last known position thing. All right, Altera, you win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position, up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure. Whatever, if you have time for me in your busy social calendar. I wonder if that was the thing with the laser cutter that I was trying to find forever. And just couldn't find it no matter how hard I tried. I'm in the danger zone right now. That is a whale. I had had a beacon when I first found that. I don't like there being three of them. Too many. I feel like the scanner from my second base stops working at some point. I don't know why. here about to get eaten by a prawn or a shark Never find the iceberg. This is the one I thought it was, but then I kept exploring the inside of it and it didn't have the little laser cutter door. Although she said a kilometer east, and this is 1100, so. The battery on this thing just fucking dead, is that the problem? I can only enter it from the top. Really forgot about that. It's fine. Okay. Okay. 
I tried that. That wasn't it. Hey, Dino. How you doing? Yep, I'm doing all right. I thought it was a big one, like the one where my marker is. Could be further out from here, maybe. I guess it could still be this one. I've got tons of oxygen to explore it. Let me try really quick. I thought I had like fully ruled it out, though, that it was much tighter than this one. They're much, much, much smaller holes inside of it. Almost positive this is the wrong iceberg. Okay. There's only so many to check here. Right general area. That big one, maybe? would track when I got the notification. Oh, I bet this is it. Didn't really have the resources to fully explore this. I didn't have enough oxygen, and I didn't have the laser cutter the first time I came here, which was obviously the biggest problem. Yeah, this seems more correct. Rock rub. Here we go. I thought there was one that was like metal though. Maybe I'm misremembering. The first time I explored it, I had like no oxygen and was afraid I was gonna die constantly. isn't her thing, but there's good shit here. It's like a treasure trove of resources. Oh, it would have been so cool if I could have gotten in here at the time. Magnetite and diamond. Lots of diamond. They need any of this stuff though right now. Tori balls. I leave room for whatever's in this uh greenhouse.
her thing might still be on the surface of one of these. I guess a game like this can have that uh, Breath of the Wild quality I was talking about where your playthrough can be pretty significantly modified by the order in which you do things. Tears of the Kingdom has broken my brain. I instinctively went to press the button to ascend onto the top of that. said iceberg a kilometer east so there's this one there's the one i was that i mistakenly beaconed try to see what else is in the general area Things cute looking. Amazing. Assessment friendly. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. False. Guess I could go back to the sea truck. And then uh, Navigate to where I'm a thousand meters away from Delta Station. I think that's just basically here. Maybe it's slightly further out. be this one. say whether it was accessible from the surface or not. Scan this boy. Low whale. Communal Leviathans, 30 meters long. Uh, let me get back on the surface before I read this, just in case there's bullshit in the area. Uh, luminescence. Low horns. They have, like, tuning forks. Cool. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. I might ask for help here soon with finding her greenhouse. At least something to help me rule out where it isn't. Seems promising. Distance is right. Hmm. 
Hmm. It'd be nice if I could see. Pretty, but I don't think that's helpful. I don't think I've explored this one before. It has much larger holes on the inside. Um, I don't want to just spend the rest of stream searching every single iceberg. Does anyone know if this is the right iceberg or not? It's the right distance, and it has stuff on the surface like plants it's not this one um do you know roughly where it is relative to this one wait shit glad i came here satellite Oh hey, Sea Truck teleportation module. New technology acquired. The fuck and a tether tool. Oh my god, I'm getting all the things now. Wait, where is the teleportation module? Oh here we go. Teleportation destination pairing for the tether tool. I can make that already. That could be pretty useful. What does it mean? What does nearby mean, though? How close are we talking? I assume that there are slightly more architect ruins to scan than are necessary to get all the blueprints. That's a really satisfying one to find. This one due south of me. So we can teleport all the way across the map? Okay, thank you. Well, we could have come here much earlier. Every teleport use a whole ion cube. New. What to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then she surprised me. Like Marguerite a lot. Much. Meaning if you really want to know. There's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. 
It would be nice to have an oh shit button. So does it teleport you to the sea truck? You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. Freelance security personnel. She's basically like if Worf got stranded here. Mongolian states. Yeah, she's really cool. Okay, so I could like just put the sea truck in my base and build the tether tool and bring it with me and it'll be an oh shit button forever. That's cool. I don't think I would use any food other than the fever because it also recovers temperature. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and that's your plan. You don't think it'll work? You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on. Is a bacteria a threat or isn't it? I'd be it abandoning is. the prawn. Does it need yeah. to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Great. Then what you got to do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab, too, as it's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. Oh, It'll cute. Oh, she trained the, the dog. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing insulation first few nights the soil was rock solid ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp adding a thermal mass helped too heat from barrels of water probably should have just eaten the damned kelp but nope my body was craving a salad wish i was just made of exosuit next grow lights were a must have gotta admit i felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always fits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it would still be okay, because I could always abandon the prawn suit and then build another one to get back to it. Um, or just try to brute force swim back to it it would just be nice to have a button where i have this like fear especially at the beginning of the session today that i would like soft lock i would save myself in a situation where i couldn't get out but i guess if you die does it always put you back at your base with some resources lost and then it only ever causes you to lose resources that are on you Okay. I see. It's not so bad. Oh. I'm going to bring the sea truck back to where I left the prawn. We'll eventually get it home. That was my main 
breadcrumb for now because I don't really know where the fabrication station is. Should have everything I need now to do the full body. Yeah, I've noticed that from both of them so far. I'm gonna go make the docking module and then pick my prawn suit back up. Probably why this place was less scary the first time I came here because I was able to stay close to the surface. And not so much with the prawn suit. sea truck has been sitting off in the middle of nowhere for a very long time. This thing might actually be slower than the uh, prawn suit. I guess I have a jump jet upgrade on the prawn suit. Maybe that increases speed. Sorry, y'all. to go to the zero base or whatever. specific spot okay All right, so we want to make the bronze suit docking bay thing I feel like I found most of the resources that are referenced in um, Blueprints, so does it seem pretty likely I should be able to finish this next week? If I don't dawdle too much. I feel like the the big endgame thing is build the robot. Salt. Welcome aboard, Captain. Gold. I like story stuff. Titanium, silicone rubber, ion cube. 
Either way, let me deposit this. I think I just needed the one. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're all set. Whenever I find it, I just have to bring all that shit with me. It's kind of cool that you have to bring a bunch of items to a location. I like that. Um... Sorry, I just fried my brain for a second. It was a tool, right? Personal tool. Titanium 2 rubber ion cube. Really ought to build a very far underground, fully fledged base with food and water and everything. But I want to put it somewhere that's close to wherever the end game is, and I have no idea where that is right now. Ingot, advanced wiring, glass. is from quartz. Kind of making a mess of things at the moment. Probably fine. Yeah, I figured. That Marguerite was just connecting me to the Sam storyline. I need more quartz. I don't know that I've stockpiled terribly much of it. Sorry. Depth module. Depth module. The way they categorize some of these is very odd to me. I feel like I was just looking at it. Okay, here we go. Docking module. Pin recipe. Thank you. I also wanted the teleportation. I was just looking at the required a shitload of glass. I may have just confused myself. Maybe it was alien containment. All right, let's do the ones I pinned. Um, Advanced wiring was a regular wiring kit and a computer chip. You can do, no problem. Glass steel was problematic because I need lithium and I don't know where to find it off the top of my head. I'll make one of these. I probably want to make the docking module first. I've gotten lazy with storage and it's biting me in the ass now. Oh, I know I had one that I scrolled past it. Shit. A 
cool. No. There it is. Hiding with the diamond. I need two. Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. That sucks. Can anyone remind me where I've already found lithium? It's... I don't remember it all. Oh, purple vents, cool. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. Also dangerous. Really preferably make, would like to make both of these, so. Take a minute to get all this lithium. Oh, I thought there was a big prawn guy there too, you know. Probably shouldn't be doing this at night time. That might be a mistake. Salt? Salt. Wish there were like a couple more. Uh. Things on the hot bar. It seems like it's too few. Scary boy. I could try collecting it with the prawn suit. Can't believe how cavalier I was being here for so long. There's one. I want to get like six, maybe. I think they're gonna come like bite me while I'm trying to grab these things, since it really is unhelpful with trying to grab things sometimes.
Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. More. You're an explodey boy. Maybe I was like always like on the periphery of this area. Did any of you all see that thing before when I was like being very cavalier and exploring? Did you see it and I didn't see it maybe? Like I don't have enough. I think that'll do. Sure, yeah. He doesn't fully patrol it either, right? Makes sense, yeah. you I think one of the meanest thing this game does is have those uh, the weakling guys that make a lot of noise because you get like so used to them screaming all the time and their scream is really threatening sounding like I feel like you could deport it onto any of the leviathans and it would be fine. The reaper in uh, the first game had a pretty unique roar didn't it? compared to any of the smaller wildlife. I'm sure the prawn thing does too, but... I'll set up the screen here, sorry. Okay, should be able to make the upgrades I need Seek now. Yes, yes. Vital signs stabilizing. A little bit of overkill, but that's okay. Uh...
a couple more of these ingots. Aerogel and lead. Okay, sweet. Well, this is probably, well, some of it's at the mod station. I feel like there's some extremely minor quality of life things that would really improve Subnautica for me. Um, the, the, being able to pin recipes is definitely a big improvement. So. I was just complaining about inventory limits in, uh, in The Witcher 2, and I think this is a game where I don't feel those problems at all, really. Um, I actually really like the way that inventory works in this, and all the little tools they give you. It feels more built around that, as opposed to it being something tacked on. Uh, clearly I'm confused. Why can I not I just build this like a regular fabricator or something? Mobile vehicle bay, right. Damn. I'm gonna have to use that in a minute. I feel like they should have a little icon on the icon in the corner that says the station where you craft it. Docking module. idea that it like is a physical object in the world ah okay that makes sense yeah and it creates interesting situations where you're like do i want to carry this stuff having to trade off between food supplies beacons and room to harvest things it's actually kind of a similar model to how runescape works Clearly, I like the shit out of that game, and that's... You have 28 inventory slots, and that's it. You gotta make everything work within that. Um... Okay. So. To do something to get these to connect somehow? I like all the modular upgrades of this thing. It's kind of a cool idea. What should I be doing here? Is there a tool I have to use, maybe? Yeah, I, I mean, that. You can just tell me. <laughs> I think it's. Uh... Oh, here we go. Then can I can I have multiple modules or is it either the sea truck or or either the, the prawn dock or the teleport station? Because I can craft it anyway. The teleportation module will work as a thing I can teleport to regardless of whether it's connected to anything. Oh yeah, no, there were lots of Good sound design. I just meant Ravanon. Is there a fake out non threatening creature that exists in the same space as a threatening creature like a Reaper or a Sea Dragon? I think the answer is no. I think that if you hear a loud, scary scream, you can be pretty sure it's a. Uh... Leviathan.
Okay, so I think I can just leave that there, right? You have a shitload of ion cubes. It explains why they give you so many ion cubes, I guess. Can it only support one module at a time, or...? It makes sense that it's a truck. A little hook on the back. Oh, I see. That makes sense. That's a really cool idea for a vehicle. I really like it. I assume this like significantly slows it down too. Dude. That thing looks rad as hell. Alright, out of curiosity, what other modules can I make? Probably can get the depth upgrade for it. I think it's not that expensive. Aquarium. Okay, I think that's the only one I care about. Maybe the fabricator module would be nice to be able to spot craft without needing to build an entire base, but... Uh, let me look at the mods then real fast. You make the depth upgrade at a regular. It's so. Okay. If there was like an icon on them. I think it would help me a lot to be able to visualize when I need to get a second thing here. Enameled glass is diamond. Oh, and lead. I might be out of lead. I haven't gathered it in a minute. Whoa, what the fuck? Uh-oh. These don't just freeze. Oh. That was scary. It's not enough. Lead is at least easier to find, I think. And then the Mark II, I might even be able to do the three, uh, but I need more lead. I have synthetic fibers and ruby. Or at least I can make synthetic fibers. These guys and gel sacks maybe? Ruby spiral plant clip. Fortunately, I've been pretty good about picking up rubies. Let me scan for some lead real fast. I th think I can get some. That is a specific kind of outcrop, right? Is it Galena? Pin this recipe, both of these recipes here. 
So there's this one. And then this one. Oh, but I don't have enough nickel ore. Wait, maybe I do. I was really worried about that happening. It's two. Oh my god, I think I I think I did not get enough nickel, son of a bitch. Let me, let me check the prawn suit, I guess. I don't know if I had lead in my Dwarf Fortress world. As soon as they spawn in the ground. really worried that I'm like one short on nickel. It would be very convenient to be able to carry the prawn suit down with me on the sea truck. Probably enough, but I want to leave myself with some for later. Hoping that Alan was gonna pop up and be like, oh, hey, I, I found the fabrication station, but I kind of feel like they're gonna leave it to me. Uh, I could go to the, the below zero station. Um, I don't think I ever really formally visited it. That's probably fine. Diamond out of here. Put some shit away first. I think the ability to craft from nearby storage would be a huge QOL improvement for this game. Um, a significant amount of time I feel like you spend running around like this. I guess I need more lithium for plasteel anyway. So I wouldn't be able to make the level three regardless. Um, sorry. Pause with the rest of this junk for now. Unpin this. And those two modules. Unpin, unpin. And I don't think I've actually found the full horsepower upgrade. Afterburner and horsepower. So it's fine until it's over two modules and then it gets slow. Is that how it works? Um, pause it, everything else here.
Let's see. Turn this off. Delicious water. I guess plus 50 and getting two of them is pretty nice. Let me go pick up my prawn suit and bring it back here. And then I am going to look at my map and try to figure out what I want to do next. I'm kind of at a loss at the moment. Oh, cool. I really like the way that sea truck modules work. That's for some reason not what I was expecting. Oh, and it shows you their individual health. Okay, let me pop those off then. This kind of replaces the um, submarine, I suppose, is your like big all purpose vehicle. Can this thing uh, hook onto the prawn, or does the prawn have to like jump into the dock on the back or something? Oh, right, I should install this depth module. I'm thinking about it. Okay. Thanks, man. It's cool of you. Thanks for being a cool bro. 650 is not bad. What does the third module get to? Assume it's still a little bit less than the prawn suit. Nickel, damn it. So I could go back to the cotton caves. Yeah, I assumed. know the sound by Like they could just keep making sequels to this forever and I would just keep playing them. I think it's really good. Probably should get ion batteries for this thing, but
Heading back to base, hopping in, looking at my map, trying to find somewhere to go. Don't think Alan has anything new for me, unfortunately. Sad to be down one nickel. There might be one in, maybe there's one in the prawn suit that I didn't take out. We'll see when I get home. The idea of being able to dock the prawn suit is like really cool. So can this thing not go in the moon pool if it's got too many attachments or oh wait. Oh it just drops off all the docks when it does. I see. That's interesting. See if I can make ion batteries for it real quick. That was uh, gold, silver, now lithium. That's where all my lithium went. I can just kind of deal with it. I guess I can put these in the back in case I run out. Oh, does the... I must have forgotten this. Does the sea truck itself not come with storage by default? It's fine. Put on the prawn suit. They're nickel there? Oh, thank Christ. Okay, sweet. Very exciting. Very cool. I'm going to build one more base once I figure out where I want to be going generally, but I have no idea. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So it's nickel, nickel. Not that much nickel. Kyanite. Looks like I did get enough of, blessedly. Oh, but I need lithium for another plasteel, don't I? Son of a bitch. Um, we can just take the prawn suit over there really quick and grab some. make this thing and be done with it. Base module, you said? Let's do this and accept that I might get eaten. You know, I probably should have tracked down a couple more.
no idea where to look for that horsepower upgrade. That would be really helpful. I must have just been like walking around here like doo doo. Dude was like right above me. I'm over here picking up lithium. Do could do could do. That would be pretty fucking scary if it just like grabbed me. So this is based on an observation. I'm just curious whether anyone knows if it's true or not, but like it seems like roars happen based on proximity, not based on aggro. Or maybe there's a separate roar for aggro versus proximity. But you're usually given some kind of audio cue when a creature is near you, if it represents any sort of threat. Should be enough, I hope. I'm trying to solve the lithium problem. Another one over here, what was it? Maybe you punch them in the nose and they go away. That's such a cool little feature. Love to see a game that ends up feeling like a cross between this and Outer Wilds. Like I feel like this is perfect for an Outer Wilds kind of game. Because like the you know those creatures are cowards, and if you punch them in the nose, they go away. Is is a kind of Outer Wilds style knowledge is progression thing that you could theoretically stumble on without seeing the Codex entry. I don't think there's a ton of those. Usually the progression is more explicit, but a mix of the two, it's the chocolate and peanut butter for me, that would be so cool. Okay, I think this should be enough lithium to cover me for a while. Mm -hmm. I guess the difference is like you never need to use flares on the snow stalkers and you never need to use the fact that those things are cowards to deal with them, you could just run from them all the time. Or is that kind of information is like totally necessary for progress in Outer Wilds? Okay, I am very pleased to have that taken care of and not a thing that's stressing me out all the time. Um. Hopefully I don't, at the very last moment, need another couple pieces of kyanite for something really crucial. Side. Sweet. All right, so now I can go everywhere I need to go. There's still a couple upgrades I'd like to find, but depth isn't gonna be a problem anymore. All my boys with me.
like no modules for this thing. I guess this is a little annoying, but maybe there's another, a better way to... Oh, you're talking about the, the default sea truck docking module. Like, exists to make this less annoying. Oh, it's nice that those all stay together. I wasn't sure about that part. Okay. Is it something that just connects to my base and uses power to charge it separate from the moon pool. Okay, wouldn't be that. Wouldn't be this. Power transmitter, control room. Sea truck dock, I guess it's the last one. High power and structure requirements. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Probably split the ion batteries between these two. Should be fine. Well, I have lithium to make more now. That's part of the whole point of me leaving there. Let me see. I don't think I have any other pressing need for lithium at the moment. Um, okay, so I have to start by making these. It's gold, silver, lithium, regular battery. Oh man, I'm going to regret that. I'm going to have to dig for some of this shit. <laughs> I have not been good about my storage on some of these things. Very, very naughty. Oh my god, where did I just put all that lithium? I didn't turn it all into plasteel. I thought I came back with like several pieces of it. I have an extra plasteel in my inventory. I could use that, but. Oh, I guess you can use this for storage. Interesting. Well, no, it only lets you store whatever you just put in there. Okay. So you can't really like be cheesy about it. Gold, silver, and cubes. Crafting maintenance. I need to have at least one ion cube on me. Oh, weird. I'm just doing. Oh, is the does the water use a shitload of power? I mean, I could build a... I feel like it would be silly to build a reactor this close to the surface when I can just do more uh, solar panels, right? Which are quartz, titanium, and copper. Warning. 
emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. So each added power source also adds uh, capacity. I went in there, realized I didn't have the space, made the space, and then forgot to get the titanium. Yeah, I think being able to craft based on a radius of storage containers near you would be a big deal. Uh, I don't think it would break the game or the, the fantasy. I feel like they could do it as an upgrade if they really wanted to, but I feel like it would have to be a really early upgrade. Um, I was making ion stuff when the, the shit just died on me. Okay. So we need silicone rubber and wiring kits. Means I think I need a little bit more silver. I thought I had like gathered a ton of silver. I must have and then just used all of it. It's easy to do. That only gets me one anyway, right? Yeah. That's okay. one I expect to be out and about with for longer. I can put the other emergency stuff in this box. I already have an emergency one in there. Let me get the junk out. Just shit water out of here. You suck, disinfected water. Such an embarrassment to yourself. All right, now I have to sort everything and then I can look stuff up. Or I can look up the map and try to find where I'm going. Um, ingot. Salt. Uh, lithium. Silicone wiring kit. Bunch of power cells that I don't need to have on me all the time. Reactor rods, depleted reactor rods, a whole shitload of batteries. Uh, put the uranium away. Okay, and I probably don't need all this water on me. And I'll take one cube. The cube will last me three teleports. I think I want to have that on me. Oh, but I need to make the tether tool then, right? Or did I make the tool already? And it's just, oh, there it is. Right. It just takes you to the closest one, but it has unlimited range is what you're saying. Oh, does it start fully charged? So I don't need to... I'm confused. I don't need to have an ion cube on me. Tool looks cool. Okay. Um Maps. Glacial basin. Facilities southeast of Delta. Either under there, or it's under zero.
I'm gonna try that. Southeast of Delta. Got everything I need. Grab some of these. I can always burn through them really fast. Yeah, as soon as I saw there was a station zero, I was like, I bet that's going to be crucial to the plot at some point. But I'm going to check out Omega first. Like I've been in crafting mode for like an hour and a half, maybe longer. Southeast of here. I have to go like all the way around the thing. She must be near it then. Pretty far southeast. The ship looks really cool. I'm a big fan of it. It's also really huge, bigger than I realized. Wait, is this not the Mercury 2 ship? Have I been to this ship? Must be the, the one of the very first ships I found, right? Forever ago? Oh, wow. I'll know pretty quickly if I've already... Okay. Yeah. This is the one I found first, like, a really long time ago. Did not come back to with the laser cutter. Unfortunately, I kind of want to keep a slot dedicated to my oh shit button. I guess it'll be nice if I like take the sea truck somewhere right above where it's dangerous and then teleport back to it if I get in big trouble. Oh, it's just the parallel processing. Okay. I guess I could have gotten them all here before. I think I'm pretty done here. I'm not going to stress about it then. I see. I gotten one from there earlier. Each wreck has one that's exposed and one that's laser cutter only. Probably. I thought I had one that wasn't laser cutter. No, there is one that was exposed in the second one.
Where is this Omega station? I assume it's underwater. Is that another aquarium module? Me wonder if you need the aquarium module. They really try to give you a lot of them. Where I was approaching what I thought was the map edge. I guess it's probably safer to find out with the sea truck. Man, this thing takes damage really easily. I repair it from inside, like, that would be great. You're not gonna let me do that, are you, game? Not that nice. I guess it took damage from outside. Sharky boys. Seems like an ecological dead zone to me. That's the map edge, right? <laughs> this mega base The other bases are on the surface. I mean, this one looks like it was underwater somewhere. Goes the scary purple area. It's amusing that I like I feel safer in the sea truck with attached modules for no reason. Like, like I have more hit points or something. I feel like I'm probably gonna get grabbed and pulled off my modules, and that's gonna be pretty horrifying. Garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Be freaky. Please don't eat me.
Yeah, it's about human sized. That would be kind of cool if you had to swim into one for plot reasons. I don't think I was near this one. Maybe I was. I don't have a great mental map of this general area. I assume this is where I've already been, but just curiosity. Got this one already, I think. That was where the... Artifact N6M, I think. Swim in the mouth of the jellyfish. Okay, so I know this isn't a new jellyfish that I haven't explored before. Fortunately, that just kind of puts me back to square one. Um, I have not found this Omega Biology Station. Uh, Marguerite's base is not like a con it's not also the Omega station that she's converted right that is a, it's a different facility okay thanks making sure I'm not looking for something completely in vain here yeah I would love to know that Clearly didn't have a uh, beacon on me at the time. I wish it would play them again. Was it the one, the floating rock one? I thought I already followed that up. I marked the rock one. I thought the rock was, I found a big rock that had detached and I went and checked it out. And then there was a cable running down from it and I followed the cable down. The nearby spires are substantial thermal vent structures, hospitable to coral formation. Sometimes those tell you something really important. So it's the anomalous rock. Uh, the thing I thought it was, wasn't it? No, I did the Mercury too, and then I came back to the cable and followed the cable, and that's what ended up taking me down into the... Uh, um, the cave with the the body part, the skeleton. Okay, thank thank you. I'm glad I asked because I had ruled that out as as already resolved. My first plan was to go up into the rock and see if it was like a physical rock that I could visit. And then I couldn't find anything interesting on the inside of it. Yeah, that's the one with the cable. Goes inside. There's nothing in there specifically. Oh, 
other what could be anonymous rocks in the area, I guess. Anomalous, not anonymous. I guess it does show the little green things or the lily pads, I guess. That's cute. Suppose you could try to map them. Oh yeah, no, it totally makes sense. I just didn't realize because the the all it said is there's a large anonymous rock or I keep saying anonymous. There's a large anomalous rock nearby. You're saying that that PDA thing was talking about the base, not about the rock with the cable, right? Like right over here somewhere. This one's the largest one. Okay, thank you. Come on. Mega. We don't use the word anomalous often enough. My brain keeps re replacing it with an anonymous. Classified. Fucked up, apparently. Fuck. <laughs> Freaky. We've studied the first Corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled God damn it, Altera. Resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially God, useful corporations are the fucking worst. Think of the possibilities life-saving treatment, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could Though I do like that she's years. not like an evil scientist. She seems to have a reason for wanting to do it. Collected from a greater variety of sites around the original postules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. The Leviathan site. Pretty cool stuff. Task revolution. Oh, let me put this back on. What? Oh, no. Is that HR guy's shit? Monotasking. Great. Therapy lamp. Shit. Add 
whatever that was. It's so, like, sad to get a data box and have it be titanium. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Hmm. Danielle Valenti. Challenged your spy pangling to a foot race earlier. Oh, nice. Because you got tired of losing to me. Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Uh. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race. Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't uh -uh. know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Nice. Well, I learned where Sam was. Uh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <laughs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Parab, but Vin... Is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Okay, frozen Leviathan. Biolab. Where's the frozen leviathan? There's a K around here. Okay, this is the... Cotton. Well, I have guidance as to where I want to go, but I have no idea the location that that's actually in. I feel like I read a log earlier about a frozen leviathan. I don't remember if it told me where it was being kept. Is the the cave they're talking about not here part of this rock formation? Is it somewhere completely different? So I don't like spend an hour searching this place. Okay. Try zero. It's Like there better be something below Station Zero, right? Like it's too good of a of a double entendre in the title for that to not be the case.
electric ram relative to delta here in a second. Do north. Kingdom for that horsepower upgrade. I actually ever visited Station Zero proper. I feel like I must have, right? But I went there on the surface like super early and there was some lore stuff there, but nothing like crazy mind-blowing it wasn't like scary or anything find a way down Oh, the way that loaded in, I got all excited for a second. We're not doing that. Thank you. Thank you for the warning. Okay, so it's not here. I guess I can follow this in the other direction. I'm still like way too far. Yeah, because I'm like currently very northeast. And I need to be due north.
Unless there's nothing spooky along the edge of this thing. It says and gets immediately attacked by something horrible. I feel like I traced the edge of this pretty early on and then stopped because of not having a high enough depth module. But I didn't realize I was coming that close to the map's edge. This is actually like really close to starting base. Docks, I thought I'd check really quick. I guess it could still literally be below zero, but like the entrance be somewhere really, really, really far off. Let me just confirm where I am. So I can mark it with a beacon, which would be nice, because I never had a beacon when I came here earlier. Whatever this is that would be helpful, I feel like. Confirming that this was it, although if it was and there was stuff that was evidence for it here Probably gone now is this uh, zero I think it is right You just marked it when I came here the first time I didn't see any like markers outside saying what it was okay, thanks I guess I can try to more thoroughly explore the land here and didn't really do that before. And then I'll try to look if I can find something underneath it. Here a long time ago. And we found this teleporter thing. That maybe I have to come here later with Alan once he's got his shit back together. Uh, is there anything else for me to find on the surface of Station Zero? I feel like I've been here a couple times and tried to explore it. Okay. Thanks.
Park it here so I don't forget again. Do it in the water. Whoops. Station zero. Cool. Let me see if I can find something underneath here. Oh no, I did this again. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. Don't go that close to the surface. Jeez Louise. So before I like prod every edge of this wall here, uh, is there a cave immediately in this area? Or a way to go underneath station zero in this area? No? Okay. Ooh, that's fine. Thank you. So sure. Back at my base, I guess, and get some more of that water. Undock this and charge. I guess it undocks automatically, but it's kind of annoying. Okay, I think uh, next stream I'm gonna need some direction just so that I don't spend half the stream wandering through areas I've already visited. Um, I guess if y'all wanna discuss it, uh, in the interim and maybe come up with a way to give me a hint or a general region that's not that big of a spoiler. I'm happy to explore a dangerous zone, but I feel like I've been to every location that Alan has brought up. Uh, and I can't think of anywhere else other than trying to go below Station Zero. I had to Omega Station, but I just did that and it just kind of told me about this frozen Leviathan that I need to Welcome investigate. To Grab this water. Future Marstead, uh, be willing to ask chat for some guidance just to help get you to the next couple things so that you're not swimming around aimlessly for four hours next week. But uh, this game's really good. I like it as much as the first game. It's uh, clever. I like all the new stuff they added about it. Um, being much kinder to my future self this time than I was two weeks ago. <laughs> 